Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the combined battles of Manassas Station operations, or otherwise known as the Battle of Bristow Station, Kettle Run, Bull Run Bridge, and Union Mills. That occurred in Prince William County, Virginia on August 26 and 27, 1862. The largest battle of the Civil War up to this point was still two days away when the pieces started moving in what was known as the Battle of Manassas Station operations, or one of its already mentioned alternative names. This was a conglomeration of a few different sites being fought over at the same time that would eventually pull into the future Second Battle Bull Run. It all started on the evening of August 26 when Confederate General Stonewall Jackson attacked what was known as Bristow Station. The actual target was the Orange and Alexandria Railroad and was the result of a more than 50 mile march in less than 40 hours through Union lines. The attack on Bristow Station was a detachment led by Isaac R. Trimble along with cavalry support. They captured more than 300 prisoners and eight cannons, only losing four men. Stonewall's attack caught the Union off guard and the resulting capture of the Union Supply Depot at Manassas Junction was a blow to the local and regional Union forces. The surprise only grew as Stonewall Jackson's troops churned and began to burn everything they couldn't carry, destroying all supplies and usable equipment denying them to the Union General Pope and his men. This was a clever maneuver as it forced Pope to disengage from his reinforced defenses on the Rappahannock River to try and stop Stonewall. Union General Pope's retreat freed up his attacker, Confederate General Longstreet, to move north and then east, following the route that Jackson had followed earlier and allowing Longstreet and Stonewall Jackson to meet up. On August 27th, Jackson pushed back a Union brigade near Union Mills. His opponent was U.S. Brigadier General George W. Taylor, who had arrived by train and was unaware he was outnumbered. Taylor proceeded to deploy his brigade for an attack when his men were decimated by heavy artillery fire that began to rout Taylor's men in their Union Blues. Taylor himself was mortally wounded by the artillery barrage, perhaps the biggest loss the Union suffered thus far in the battle. During this time, U.S. Major General Joseph Hooker and his division found themselves fighting Confederate Major General Richard S. Ewell's division at Kettle Run. Hooker was eventually forced back south of Broad Run until after dusk that day. Confederate General Stonewall Jackson used this opportunity to move his combined forces north towards the original battlefield of the First Manassas Battle, otherwise known as the First Battle of Bull Run and he would commence in what would be known as the Second Battle Bull Run shortly, and we'll be covering this battle separately. The resulting casualties were fairly high with more than 1,150 killed, wounded, and missing Union soldiers, with only 178 killed, wounded, or missing from the Confederates. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.